we were talking about Newman projections last week, yes? Yes. Did we finish that? Yes. Yeah. I think we pretty much finished it. I'm going to give you on the test some type of compound. And let's say that I can ask you to draw the Newman projection from carbon 2 to carbon 3, let's say. Okay? And what do you write on the top if you're doing this Newman projection? CH2. Right on the top you write CH2OH. Okay? Is that clear? If I ask you to look from this one to this one, on the top you write all of this stuff plus the two hydrogens. And the one in the back has two hydrogens and a CH3, which you will write here. Yes? Could you please repeat that? Repeat what? Everything. Why don't you start with the CH2? Because I said I want you to draw it from C2 to C3. So here is C2. The carbon that I ask you to draw first is the carbon that has this Mercedes-Benz sign. And this carbon has two hydrogens, and it has that thing there, which is CH2OH. Okay? We were supposed to do cyclohexane chair confirmations, yes? We did it already? No. You're kidding. Yeah, trans. Really? Yeah, Okay, well, if you say we did it, and once in a while look in there to see if yeah. this is seeing this. <laughs> if you say that, draw one, three, dimethylcyclohexane. Determine the least stable, the most stable, Chair confirmations. You. Yeah. Where's the black pen? You have the black pen? Right Determine the least stable than the most stable, chair confirmation, and explain. Also, show a chair flip. We did this last class? No. Yeah, we did. I can't recall yeah. doing that, but we did the chair you didn't do flip. it, you show me. We did the chair flip. We did the chair flip. We didn't give us examples like that, like one, two, three, guide methyl cyclohexane. Yeah, I showed you what cis and trans was, but yeah. we did yeah, not do this. It's 100% guaranteed we didn't do this. That's fine, do it, try to do it. At least draw it.
Why did you try to do it? I Why? That's not how you learn? How do you learn? By study. Practicing, practicing. But didn't you already practice it? Oh, no. Thank you. Not the chair and the boat. I'm definitely not studying. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's do it. We draw lines, yes? Yeah. One on the top, one offset on the bottom. This peak goes up, that gets together, this peak comes down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it comes up prettier than others. This peak is pointing up, there has a bond pointing up, and the other one, 109.5. This peak is pointing down, bond pointing down, 109. This peak is pointing down, one pointing down, 109. Peak pointing up, 109. Peak pointing down, 109. Peak is pointing up. Yes or no? We are supposed to do trans 1 3 dimethyl cyclohexane. So, which one is carbon 1? That one all the way in the up, the first one? This one? No. Up. Go up. This one? No. This one. The other one. Yeah. This one. This is carbon one. Five. I don't know. I'm asking you. What carbon is this? You want this to be carbon one? Mm -hmm. You can make this carbon one. You can make this carbon one. You can make that carbon one. One, one, one. You can make <coughs> carbon one. <coughs> you want. Now, for convenience, we choose carbons that are easy to read. Yes? Okay. You should always try to choose these carbons so the groups land here. If you have no choice, you will choose these two, but sometimes you get confused with those. Okay? So, my opinion is choose either those or these. So, you like this one, let's choose this one first. Okay? What are we going to place here? Where do we place it? Do we place it up here or do we place it here, the methyl group? Where are we going to place it? Axial. In the axial or in the equatorial? Axial. Of course, I wrote it down. So this is what type of bond? Lower bond or upper bond? Upper, upper bond. This is the upper bond. In order for this to be trans, this methyl group to be trans to the other methyl group, which is in what position? Third. It has to be. One, two, three. Third. Look where it landed. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has to be down. Do you like it that it landed there? Yeah. No, no. I don't like it. Uh -huh. If you like it, that's your problem. I don't like it that way. I don't want it to land here. So instead, I'm going to go the other way. Okay. So one, two, three. It's going to land it here. Uh -huh. Because I can read this easily. Mm -hmm. So if this is the upper bond, this one has to be what bond to be trans? The lower, to be the lower bond. bond. So here it is. This is trans because here, upper bond and here, lower bond. They are on different sides because of the upper and the lower bond thing. It has nothing to do with equatorial and axial. Is that clear? Now, if we do a chair flip, what's a chair flip? The equatorial becomes the axial. The axial and then the equatorial becomes the axial. Okay. The axial becomes the axial. Becomes the axial. The axial how does the chair flip look like? The opposite. The opposite. The opposite. So that side is up and that side is down. We did this thing last time where you had an epiphany, yes? I remember clearly how some of you said, ah. But that's okay. This will stay the same, or I will move this one this way, or that one that way. A chair flip will look like this came down and that went up, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this like this. And once again, I will draw these. Now by now, you should be an expert drawing already. Okay? 
That's a chair flip. They look like they're mirror images of each other, yes? And it moved one bond away. Did it really move one bond away? Right? Did it really move one bond away? These two bonds stay here. That one is the one that just came down. It did not move one bond clockwise, but it looks that way. Okay, so this here, this carbon here, is going to be which one? It's going to be this carbon here. Yes or no? Yes. <coughs> and whatever bond was axial will now become equator. So this was axial, now this here will be equator. Now the other one moved the carbon to the right. So this was the peak down. Now when it moved up, now this looks different. Which, which carbon is this? <coughs> this is this carbon, yes? Yes or no? No. It's not? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. No, no, it's not. It's the one at the bottom. It's the base. It's the, base. It's the one at the bottom. Oh. Excuse me? That's it. The bonds are rotating oh, this no, way. Yeah, yeah, it's that one. It's rotating that way, yes? Mm -hmm. So that one will become here. That one will get there. This one will go up. Mm -hmm. And now that's the carbon you see. So this one. This carbon is that carbon now. Yes. And this carbon exactly. is this carbon. Yeah. We have no choice. It landed there. That's too bad for you. Okay? And now what am I going to do? But that's not a big deal. Here, what bond is this? Upper bond or lower bond from these two? Upper, upper. upper. upper bond. And this needs to be trans. So the other one has to be what type of bond? Lower bond. Upper bond, lower bond. Is that the lower bond? No. No, that's higher. Do you not see it? So this is the lower bond. And what is this here? <coughs> CH3. CH3. So in here, this is equatorial and this is? Trans. Um, axial. Axial. In here, this one is axial and this one is? Equatorial. Are they different? You have a question or you're just stretching? Are they different or are they the same? They're yeah, different. Maybe I didn't say this before. Write this down. The biggest group, and this is referring to cyclohexane chair conformations, okay? The biggest group needs to be in the equatorial position. If the biggest group is in the axial position, it will have larger larger one comma three diaxial interaction and this one three diaxial interaction is a steric strain okay this is that these groups are in close proximity to each other these groups are in close proximity to each other so they will have steric strain <coughs> Now this one three diaxial interaction, did I explain this last time or no? Mm -hmm. How many axial positions are on one side? One, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three. These three hydrogens, or these three groups that are here, are on the same side. And they are very close to each other in space. That is called a one three diaxial interaction. Whatever groups are there will feel one three diaxial interaction, no matter what they are. But the bigger they are, 